For anyone out there that actually wants to see the picture of Donnell and his ex-wife and son, I advise you to check out that 5150 episode as soon as possible and make sure you subscribe to the channel and stay notified on everything. Corey delivers great jokes like this and better every Tuesday night, but I choose to stay away from anything with women and children. We live in a new day when people don't know how to take a joke the same. Once again, this ugly angle is a hit and the wife is an angle that clearly Corey only used to send some quick warning shots. So, the ugly boy came in there, watched my show. Oh, all you people who didn't get the truth, here's the truth right here. On oh, everything I love, the man was watching me do my thing on stage. His jealousy just bust out of him. I didn't say nothing to that man. I don't even, I, when I see that man and I speak to him, I be like, hey brother, how you doing? Even though I always knew he was a whole ass nigga, there's a lot of motherfuckers, Corey, I never liked that nigga and all that shit. I ain't playing that shit, but I got it from the seats. I ain't gonna lie. Everybody listen to this. I want you to fact check this. When I said on stage, if you fit in more than three movies, you probably had a dick in your ass. That nigga said, hey! This is the biggest truth that explains it all now. Donnell was upset that Corey told that Hollywood elite joke about comedians being in more than three movies. This is where the genius of Cat Williams on Club Shay Shay comes into place again. Once Cat told that behind the scenes secret about the celebrities having to do some strange things for some opportunities and some change. The people like Corey and Eddie Griffin have been enjoying the chaos and proud that Cat Williams spoke a truth that they have been speaking for many years now. On the flip side, the people like Donnell and all others who have sided with the enemies of Cat Williams are upset and trying to take out their competition anytime possible. I won't be surprised if they all get exposed again for trying to plot on ruining people's career undeservingly. But this is only the start and the ones who walk and talk with righteousness are destined to shine and thrive in our new world. Even through all of the changes in society. Stay safe and smile daily. As anybody would get at night. When I said, if you done done three or more movies, you probably, I don't know how probably is spelled right now, but probably had a dick in your ass. That struck the nerve in that nigga for him to start talking crazy and yelling while I was on stage. So all you people out there who think Corey is the motherfucker who is the aggressor, you wrong. He a whole ass nigga who wanted some attention. Look, he did about an extra 10 minutes than what he was supposed to do talking about. My DVD coming out, y'all, and, 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 and y'all got to support it and all that stuff. Shit. Nigga, I hope this DVD, I, I hope this Netflix shit funny, garbage ass nigga. I want you to be rich as you could be because you ugly. You need Oprah Winfrey type paper to walk the earth like you want to walk the earth, homie. You ugly. Your neck like this. It's naturally like this. Watch that nigga when he relax. You know, when people relax, they do this. That nigga relax, they do this. <laughs> it still be up. It still be up. He look like one of them people from a village somewhere where people put oil pipelines through that shit without asking them. That's what he looked like. He ugly. So he wants me to jump and fall for the sucker shit. This for the youngsters. That man did everything in his power to get me to come out of my body. <laughs> we, live in, we live in Hollywood, dog. Everything is a videotape. You can't come out your body because a nigga invites you to do it no more. When you get with a motherfucker, you got to get with his ass somewhere else. You dig what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. You can't just, you can't just do, 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 like back in the day. Boop, ba -da, boop. You can't do that no more. It's a video of you doing whatever you do. Right. And if you really are here productive, man, you ain't got time to get in people money at the county. You ain't got time to get in people time at the county. Wherever you at, that man tried his best to make me come out my body, but I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. It ain't I'm just worth saying. it. It ain't worth it. 
Right, it ain't worth it there. <laughs> I said, if we were somewhere outside of Hollywood, you wouldn't be acting like this. And the people wouldn't let you talk as long as you talk. Right. He knew I was going up. That's why he was mad. Y'all act like I'm the motherfucker who walk around disrespecting people. Right. It's people out here know that they are men who mess with men. But they want to act like people hating on them. It's people out here who know that you funny and they want to act like, oh, you said something to him. Corey Holcomb don't say nothing to these people out when I'm in the streets. Are y'all crazy? That man is, that man ugly. That's what all that stemmed from. He ugly. Of course not talented. Like I said, he mild as a comedian. Yeah. He the type of nigga you be like, oh, okay, on tours he always opening up. 